Thank you, Katie. Governor Greg Abbott calling on Texas businesses to voluntarily take Russian products off their shelves. In a tweet this afternoon, the governor specifically mentioned members of the Texas Restaurant Association and Texas Package Store Association. One of the likeliest targets? Russian vodka. Garrett Berger talked with one liquor store that was happy to comply. Thank you. Thank you. John Steves manages Hargrove's fine wine and spirits. Spirits, which he says, <laughs> will no longer include Russian vodkas. This is all coming off. I haven't had a chance to do it yet, but the Beluga, the Zero. Upset with Russia's invasion, Steve said the store stands with Ukrainians. I have no interest in uh, brooking with the Russians. But it's only a small part of what Hargroves offers, so what good is taking a few bottles they've already paid for off the shelves? It also means they're not ordering it again. If we don't buy it, then the distributors aren't going to buy it, and that means that Russia can't sell it. Customer Diana Keel, it's a move that makes sense. It's all about the money at the end of the day to some extent, mm -hmm. so I think it's the right thing to do. But while vodka and Russia may be inherently linked, many of the best-known brands in the U.S. are not Russian. And how many others join in on this movement is yet to be seen. We visited a half dozen liquor stores Saturday evening, and Hargroves was the only one that went on the record with this stance. Still, Steve sees it as doing their part. A little old to be taking up arms. We all have to do what we can do, and that's all we can do. And uh, But we can do that. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.